we're going to solve physics uh, mcq paper that is 5054 and this is a specimen paper and let's begin with this paper so the, your first mcq states that a small cylinder is rolled along a ruler and completes two full turns as shown in the diagram so what is the circumference of the cylinder so now you guys have to see this thing that it starts from this point which is around 1.1 1.2 1.3 1 1.3 and 1.4 and it is ending at this point so this is 10.2 so what you need to do is you have to subtract 10.2 minus 1.4 and you will end up with 8.8 .8. And it has taken two uh, rotations or two revolutions and you need to divide that 8.8 .8 with 2 to get 4.4 uh, centimeters. So your answer is A. Weight diagram shows the vector addition of 4 newtons and 3 newtons of force. So over here you have to apply head to tail rule. And over here, you can see that the vector addition of the force is this is going to be the first vector, this is going to be your second vector, and when you add these forces, so you'll get this one the opposite direction of this force. So, option A will be your right answer. The diagram shows the speed time graph for an uh, object moving with a constant acceleration. What is the distance traveled in the first four seconds? So you, you need to find out the uh, area under the curve. The distance is equal to area under the curve. So it's going to be your triangles, so 1 over 2 base times uh, height. So put the values. 1 over 2 base is 4. Height is 6. So it's going to be 12 meters. So option C is your right answer. An astronaut travels to Mars. Which road describes how his mass and his weight compare to their sizes on Earth? So obviously the mass is not going to be changed, but the weight of the object, weight of the astronaut is going to be changed. So this is the right answer because the mass states that the quantity of matter is not going to be changed or anywhere uh, around the world but weight depends upon the value of g and it's going to be different on different planets so that's why it's going to be different which object has the largest resultant force acting on it so basically what is going to happen this is 20 newtons and this is going to be 30 newtons so this is like this so you'll end up with 10 newtons in this case this is going to be zero newton because but, but it's not zero this is going to be cancelled out with this so 10 newton toward this in this scenario what you can do this this is 20 30 will cancel out with this but 10 will remain there so the resultant will be in this direction in the case of c it's going to be 30 minus 10 is going to be 20 newtons towards left and then the last is going to be 50 newtons toward left. So option C would be your right answer. Uh, tr tractor pulls the trailer at a constant speed. So remember this constant speed means that resultant force is equal to zero. The tractor exerts a force 16, 000, uh, 1600 newtons force on a trailer which force is exerted by the trailer on the tractor so i have already mentioned that constant speed means the resultant force is going to be zero so it's going to be the b is going to be your right answer at this scenario okay moving to the next mcq and it's going to be a skydiver is falling at a terminal velocity which row describe the acceleration of skydiver and velocity of the skydiver so again at this point the velocity is going to be constant so acceleration will be C and the velocity of the skydiver is also going to be constant okay so this is basically if you see the graph so it's going to be like this it's going to be like this so over here the velocity is constant and on a straight line the acceleration the gradient is equals to zero 
okay which car experiences the resultant force that is not zero which car uh, experiences the resultant force that is not zero a car moving along a straight horizontal road at a constant speed a car moving around uh, a bend at a constant speed a car moving up a hill at a constant velocity a car that is at rest so in this scenario you see this thing the constant is not zero this is what we need to find out constant speed means that the the is acceleration is force is zero car moving around the bend with again this is what uh, constant speed but this is bend it means like in a circular motion circular motion the acceleration uh, is changing so it's not the speed thing okay so this is the possible scenario let me check the other case scenarios a car moving up a hill at a constant velocity obviously this is not the thing a car is at rest so it means the resultant force will be all equals to zero so option b is your right answer a car is designed to be stable a car is designed to be stable where must the center of gravity of the car be so it's going to be above the front wheel above the rear a high as low as is possible this is the right answer so you must have seen uh, ferrari lamborghinis and other cars that are just their center of uh, mass is as low as possible so that's why they are uh, close to the roads as well okay the diagram the diagram sh um, shows uh, shows a block being pulled up a ramp by a rope and the block has a weight w and the rope is pulled with force f the block moves distance pr and is raised through height qr what is the equation for the work done on the block by the rope so uh word done they they are looking for the word done okay so we need to find out the formula for word done word done is force times displacement or a distance so this is the right answer force time height is not uh, in this case basically they are asking about this case so the height qr we cannot we are not interested in this the distance it has moved so we are going to uh, talk about this one pr so option a is going to be right hand which uh, uses a non-renewable energy sources so geothermal is a renewable energy sources a nuclear power station a solar panel is a renewable energy sources wind turbines are renewable energy sources so only the option b is going to be your right answer moving to the next question and it's going it states that uh, which expression is uh, give will give efficiency of an ac generator so in this scenario the uh, ac generator produces what electrical energy so electrical energy is output and total energy is let's say you are putting fuel in it so basically you are going to divide by this so option a would be the right answer it's not the thermal energy it's not output over no this is not only the option a seems to be correct answer 13 mercury is a liquid the diagram shows a simple mercury barometer which height is measured uh, is measure of atmospheric pressure so in this case you need to find out this height you are interested in this height to find uh, this is going to be used and pressure in liquid equals to rho g h rho is the density of the liquid g is the value of g is 10 meter per second square and this is height and remember this thing that height needs to be converted into meters in order to solve these questions okay 14 a gas in a sealed container of a constant volume the gas is heated and pressure of the gas on the wall of the container increases how do the particles of the gas cause the increase in pressure so obviously they expand now they hit each other more frequently they hit the container wall more frequently and then they could increase the pressure so c is the right answer moving to the next question and it states that a person cannot open a glass jar which has a metal lid after the lid is held under hot water for a few seconds the jar opens easily what is the expansion for this so what is uh, the expansion the glass jar contracts no it happens in in uh, cold in uh, winters the glass jars expands the glass jar is going to expand 
the metal lid uh, okay the glass is the insulator okay so the glass cannot expand like this the metal lid contracts metal lid it contracts no the metal lid expands so this is your answer that's why we can open it or we can put it under the hot water tap okay 16 the more energetic particle escape from the surface of the liquid which term describe this process so obviously this is the evaporation now coming to the next question and it states that the depth of the sea under the ship is determined by sending a pulse of a sound with a frequency of 3000 hertz from a transmitter on the bottom of the ship to the seabed the sound reflects from the seabed and returns to receiver to a receiver of the bottom of the ship the time between the sender in the pulse and the receiving the re reflected is pulse is measured okay so the depth of the sea beneath the ship is 600 meters and the time measured is this what is the wavelength of the sound in the sea so we know that the frequency is 300 3000 hertz and the speed is equals to okay so the, uh, the distance is going to be when you are going to find out the speed so distance is one time it, the signal has been gone to the seabed and then it's going to come back so the distance is going to be twice and the time is going to be like 0 0.80 which is already given and now you have to divide the distance with the time so it's going to be 1500 meter per second is going to be the speed so when you are going to apply the formula into this again v is equals to f lambda again we have calculated velocity equals to 1500 and the frequency is given is 300 uh, 3000 hertz so you would simply divide that thing and you will get lambda equals to 0 0.5 meters Okay, now coming back to the next question and it's going to be light is incident on a mirror and is reflected as shown. So if you draw this thing, so obviously you will understand this question that this is, these are mathematical things that it's vertical angle. So if this is 80, so this is also 80. So this means this is what? 100. So if this is 100, so this is going to be 50 and this is going to be 50. So it means angle of incidence is also 50 and angle of refraction is also going to be 50 so the option d is your right answer in this scenario okay an object o is placed in front of the mirror the ray diagram shows the path of the two light rays that starts at the tip of the object okay uh, which point p and q is principal focus what type of image is going to be formed so remember this whenever you have a question like this so uh, it's going to be like this the image is going to be formed at this point okay so uh it's going to be principal focus is going to be at point p because all the light is are going to be converged at this point and the image is going to be virtual because it's not going to be captured on the screen okay coming to the next question and it states that a sound wave travels through air. The line in the diagram shows the position of a particle of air at one particular time. Which distance is the wavelength of the wave? So basically, this is your wave because it's the successive distance between two. <coughs> excuse me, successive distance between two compressions is called as uh, wavelength, or one complete wave is called this. The diagram shows an electromagnetic magnet uh, electromagnet how can the strength of the magnet field around the electromagnet can be increased so uh, if you remove the metal core and decrease the current now this is not possible remove the metal core and keep the current in the circuit uh, circuit constant reverse the dc supply and decrease the current uh, this is, is reversing the dc supply has no effect so the last option is left and this is going to be your right answer yeah this is also if you increase the number of turns of the coil so then the magnet is going to be strong magnet and if you increase the current as well so these are other ways by which you can increase the uh, power of a magnet what material can be temporary magnets be made from so obviously this is a soft uh, iron from this you make a permanent magnets and strong magnets permanent and strong magnets from this 
Okay, moving to the next question, and it states that the diagram shows an uncharged ball covered with metallic paint. The ball is suspended from an insulating thread. It is placed near the positively charged rod. Which diagram shows the charge distribution on the ball? So obviously, the positive when it's come to positive, the negative will be attracted to this, and the force, uh, the electrostatic force of uh, repulsion is going to act because the positive positives are going to be repelled and negative positive are going to be attracted to this thing. A charge of 45 coulomb flows through an electric appliance in 3 minutes. What is the average current in the appliance? So charge is what? 45 coulombs and time is what? 3 times 60. You need to convert it into seconds. This is the SI practice. And then now you need to find out the current. So it's going to be Q over T. Q is 45 and time is 180. So if you get this, so your answer will be 0 0.25 ampere. So option A is your right answer. A wire of length <coughs> 0 0.5 meter and cross-sectional area has a resistance of 0 0.75. Another wire is uh, of same material has a length of 2 meters and is meter and a cross section area of 0 0.5 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter square what is the resistance of the longer wire so in this case how you are going to solve this question i will solve this question over here so you see this thing that uh, the formula for resistance is r1 over a divided by l1 okay equals to r2 divided or uh, times a2 over l2 so over here, when you put the values of these, uh, R1 is what? 0 0.75 times 1 area, cross-sectional area is 1 into 10 to the power minus 6. This is 0 0.5 meters equals to R2 times, you are going to put 0 0.5 into 10 to the power minus 6 upon 2. Because of the length is given 2 meters over here. So now you solve this, so you will end up, uh, use your calculator, 6 ohms. So option D is going to be right answer. Which electrical symbol represents fuse? So the, this is the right one. So this is for LED, this is for motor, this is for lamp. This is for lamp, this is motor, and this is for LED. So obviously the B will be the, your right answer. Okay, going to the next question, and it says that Three identical resistors are joined together in series in a battery. Voltmeter Q reads 8. So what is going to happen? It's going to be like if the voltage is going to be divided in this scenario. So this is going to be like B is going to be your right answer because everyone has equal voltage. So when you add them, the EMF would be 4. Uh, sorry, 12 volts. 28. The EMF of a battery in a radio is 3 volts. The resistance of the circuit in the radio is 6 ohm. The radio is 6 ohm. How much energy is transferred from the battery in 30 minutes? So how you are going to solve this question is basically you have to do V is equals to IR. You have to find out the voltage over resistance. Voltage is 3. Resistance is 6. So this is 0 0.5 ampere. So now he is talking about energy, so E is equal to V I T, so voltage is 3 and uh, then the current is 0 0.5 and time is what? 30 minutes, 30 minutes means 30 times 60 because you need to convert it into seconds so it's going to be end up with 2700 joules. so option C is your right answer. What is the unit of energy used in electrical appliances? So that's kilowatt hours okay now coming back to the next question and it says a vertical uh, magnet oscillates vertically above the coil coil wire as the lower end of the magnet oscillates p between p and r and varying emf this is basically lens law and it's uh, when the value of emf is zero where should be uh, the where could be the lower end of the magnets it's going to be either p or r so option C is going to be your right answer because if you uh, revise uh, the lens law thing so that you will understand the where the voltage is zero and uh, in the next question which transformer arrangement produce an output EMF that is larger than the input so we basically he's talking about uh, step up transformer 
so remember this thing we don't apply dc in in the transformer we apply ac so either b or d is going to be right but in this case he is talking about step up transformer so this is going to be option b is going to be your right answer in this case because the number of loops uh in the prime secondary coil are more this is secondary coil and this is your primary coil okay moving to the next question and it states that why is a relay used in a switching circuit so a relay is basically uh, a safety device uh is it's used to uh, switch a large current using a small current so basically it's a straightforward theory question so you need to understand the function and its uh, definition so that you can understand what is uh, what does a relay do okay a horizontal beam of electron passes between the two poles of a magnet in a vacuum beam of electrons are like this in which direction this is going to so obviously if you apply the Fleming left hand rule so beam of electrons is this the direction of the current will be this the direction of a uh, magnetic field will be from north to south so if you apply this uh, you will end up in option B how many neutrons are in one neutral atom of the krypton uh, isotope 84 and this is simple question 84 minus 36 and you will end up at 48 so this is going to be your right answer 35 14 c6 carbon represent a nucleide of the element carbon and this is for nitrogen nucleide atom how is a neutral atom of 14 uh, nitrogen and a neutral atom is, are different so for example uh, let's uh, talk about this thing uh, we take uh, 14 c6 both elements so okay it has seven protons it has uh, neutrons equals to 14 minus 7 which is again equals to 7 and it has electrons okay i'll do this it's going to be again 7 but in the case of uh, carbon so it has protons which is equals to this neutron equals to 14 minus 6 is 8 and electrons is again 6 so uh, what is the number which is different nitrogen atom has one more proton than the carbon atom so this is the proof of this thing so i hope this is going to be clear for you guys okay moving to the next question 